Welcome back to Just Campers. This video is all about camper van electrics. Probably not the most exciting video we've ever done, but hopefully it'll be informative enough to help you along your journey. Especially if you've never done camper van electrics before, I'll give you an insight of where to start, how to plan it, and how to get the results. So before I show you around the van, I think it's a good idea to show you on a piece of paper visually how things have been set out. So let's take, take a look. Okay, so it may look quite complicated, but actually it's not. So if we start at the bottom here, we've got the vehicle alternator, the vehicle battery, a leisure battery, our solar panel, and then our battery to battery charger and our solar control. Now this whole section at the bottom is basically charge control for both batteries. So our vehicle alternator charges our vehicle battery and also through our battery to battery controller, it charges our le leisure battery. Our solar panel charges our leisure battery fire our solar control. Once our leisure battery is full up, it will then trickle charge our vehicle battery. Also, our sergeant unit, when it's plugged in to our 240 inlet on our campsite, there's a switch on the sergeant unit, which will actually charge our leisure battery. So that's our power source covered. Now let's talk about our sergeant unit. So our sergeant unit is split into two halves. It's got a 12 volt side and a 240 side. So let's talk about the 240 volts. So we've got an inlet from our campsite. This is our 240 plug inlet, which supplies our 240 power into our sergeant unit through the breakers, and then out to simply a set of sockets. Now we can now run our 240 volt hairdryer, or a kettle, TV, or a laptop. Next is our 12 volt side. Now our 12 volt has various outputs for our units around our van. For instance, we've got our roof vent van. So that's our 12 volt supply to that. We've got our roof lights. These are our roof lights, you see. We've also got our strip light, so we've got a strip light on the floor and an LED strip light under the units that's actually switched externally from our sergeant unit. Our sergeant unit also supplies our power to our water pump and our 12 volt USBs. And that is all controlled by a little control panel that is separate away from our actual main unit. This is inside the van, so you can turn on your lights, the power and the pump for the water. So this is just a systems diagram. It's not really a wiring diagram as yet. So let's go over to the bench. I'm just gonna run through some basic electrics with you to help you understand me completing our diagram. So a real quick guide to electrics. We have to have a feed to our component and an earth return from our component back to our power source. So for instance, this battery here is, say it's our leisure battery. So we've got our live feed here, which goes to our bulb. This could be a component such as lights, our pump, our motor for our roof fin, anything. It still has to have a live feed to it and an earth return. So that's our live feed. Our earth return we can put directly to the battery and then our bulb lights up. The next step is chassis earths, okay? So our components can either go all the way back to the battery on the negative side or we can just take them to a chassis earth, which is much more convenient. Let me show you. So I'm gonna connect an earth to the negative side of our battery. This earth goes down to this chassis here, so this is now negative. What that means is I can put my power feed to my component and I can put the earth absolutely anywhere on the chassis I please. So here for instance, here, here. This is all now a chassis ground. And that makes that much more convenient for fitting components rather than running two sets of wires all the way to and from our battery. It means we only have to run one feed to our component and then our component can go directly to the chassis earth, i.e. the body of the van. And for those of you that are worried about getting a shock from the negative side, you won't. It's a negative current. So I can touch this with no shock at all. So now I've explained power feeds and earths, let me show you on the diagram and we'll make this into a wiring diagram. So for instance, our roof vent fan here, our feed 12 volt feed comes out of our sergeant unit up to our roof vent fan. We then, we've got a switch built into the fan and then the other side of our motor for the fan is then put to earth. And what that does is complete our circuit. So that's it, very simple 12 volt. All you have is a feed to your component and an earth from the other side, straight to the body or all the way back to the battery negative if you wanted. So let's take our diagram, get to the van and then I can run around and show you where everything is. So a good place to start is our power source. As you can see, we've got our vehicle battery and our leisure battery. So our vehicle battery is actually situated under the passenger floor at the front in the footwell. 
and our leisure battery is situated under the driver's seat. And above we have our solar panel, which is providing power down to our sol solar control unit, which in turn will charge our leisure battery. Once that's full up, it will then charge our vehicle battery. So we then have a feed from our leisure battery and a feed from our vehicle battery, which goes all the way to the back to our sergeant unit. We're in the back of the van with our sergeant control unit. I'm just very quickly gonna run through the 240 side because it is super simple. So our 240 comes in from our external plug socket over there on our campsite into our control unit. It goes through our breakers here and then off to our sockets. We've only got one set of sockets in the van, so it's really easy. I think you can fit up to two sockets and run a fridge off of this unit as well if you were running a 240 fridge. Next, obviously, is the big monster, the 12 volt. So we've got our 12 volt power coming up from our leisure battery and our vehicle battery to our sergeant control unit. We've then got a load of fuses here, look. Ta -da. Uh, these fuses are fused outputs for a fridge, front lights, ignition supply, our water pump, our fan vents, our rear lights, sockets, and then we've got a permanent supply also for a charger. So then those wires then come from this unit into the van. And then from there on, we make a loom up for running to our lights, our fan, and so forth. So let's get inside the van and I'll show you where they are. So wiring from our sergeant unit into the van, I tried to use um, some original wiring runs that the vehicle manufacturers use. So our loom actually run all the way from the rear here, all the way down to the front. So I was actually able to tack onto that and use that to put my loom in. So the main harness started at the back and then we can spread off each individual wire to each individual component, depending on what we have. For instance, our first wire would come up to our fan. So we've got our live feed from our sergeant unit to our fan, then earth to the body. Uh, the fan's actually got a switch on the body itself, so we can switch it on. Then we have power. Our other wires will then run to our lamps and across and up and over down to our pump for our water supply. Controlling that is this little magic panel. So this is our little magic panel for our sergeant unit as you can see if i switch it off everything goes off i'll switch it on we're actually attached to the leisure battery now that's what that little lamp is there i can actually switch over to the vehicle battery this here is the lights on the roof so they can be switched on and off from here let's pop back to the leisure battery also it tells you an indication of how well charged the batteries are here is our water pump so with this turned on it activates our water pump and then our tap is ready to use. There you go, it's turned. Uh, it's come up to pressure and switched off. Uh, we would probably switch that off overnight or when we're not using it. And the wiring for this side of the van, again, came up and over across the top of the roof and then down this side. So we've got our, our 12 volt USBs, for instance. Also, we've got our feed down to our water pump, which is behind our kitchen unit down here. So if you're wiring up a camper van for the first time, I really recommend the sergeant unit. It keeps all your power in one place. Really easy, so we've got our 240 and our 12 volt, and it comes with a pre-wired loom. So all you've got to do is plug it into the unit and then take your wires off to your components. Simple. All the electrical components that we've used in this van will be in the description below. So top tip, camper van electrics, try and keep it simple. Um, by that I mean, write it down, do a plan, draw it on a piece of paper, even if you end up drawing it five or six times, and it just gets it clear in your head. So hopefully this uh, little video was helpful. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please uh, just use the comments below. That's no problem at all. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.